Marco Morosini knows food. Marco and his wife Ellen have owned Silvertron Cafe on Claremont Avenue in Forest Park for seven years. Silvertron enjoys a faithful clientele and visitors from other parts of town have discovered Silvertron's varied menu. Well, I grew up in the business. So, you know, it, it, it's when you've grown up in the business, it's one of the kind of business that you have to like. You have to love it. If you don't have the passion for it, it's going to eat you alive. Uh, so, yes, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. I'm having a blast. You know this. Now, bringing hundreds of homeless people into the Boutwell Auditorium to keep them warm every night is a tough enough job. But then you have to figure out how do we feed them all? That's Don Lupo's job. Don runs Mayor William Bell's office for citizens' assistance. We can't buy food. We're a city and we can't spend money on food. So we go on social media, we go on the media, and we ask for donations. And there are so many angels in this town and there's such generous people in this town. We've never asked and it not happened. And the people are, the people are great. Silvertron Cafe is a family business, and Marco and his staff could just prepare their customers' favorite meals and call it a day, but they choose to do more. When Birmingham first started opening Boutwell Auditorium as a shelter from the cold, Don Lupo from the mayor's office knew they had to find a way to provide some warm food for the homeless who come here. Too many times we tend to forget about there are people that are not as lucky and they are a good reminder, to me anyway, how lucky I am to have what I have. Um, nobody gives me anything for free. So it, it's, it's, if I can find a way to pay back the society that helped me, you know, that's a good, that's a good a sort of uh, heart-giving story. If I Cold and hungry people would be happy with anything to eat, but Marco decided that he wanted to give them good food. In fact, the same food he'd prepare for you at Silvertron. Um, I always bring food to them that I would eat. I think last night with the French onion soup, cheeseburgers, and tonight's gonna be a tomato bisque with lasagna and chicken fingers and salad and apples. So you can make the menu as expensive as it is. I think at the end of the day, what you have in here is somebody that does not have access to a lot of food, good food, warm food on a regular basis. Marco says people in the Forest Park neighborhood have been very supportive of his efforts. Other businesses and residents make donations along the way. Don Lupo says the effort to house and feed folks at Boutwell is an easy sell. We have these people that are here every time and we never call them. We've never made a phone call. They call us. Whether it's Marco at Silvertron or whether it's Bessie Bailey at Bethel Baptist in Pratt City, regardless of who it is, they come to our rescue uh, without asking. So the next couple of nights as our temperatures dip to below freezing and into the teens, our city's homeless who choose to come are sleeping in warm blankets with warm food in their stomachs. That should make all of us sleep a little better too. I'm Mike Royer and that's the spirit of Alabama.